how many times you have heard someone say all i can do is pray first thessalonians 5 and verse 17 and 18 says pray without ceasing in everything give thanks for this is the will of god in christ jesus concerning you all i can do is pray you might as well say to a starving man all i can do is offer you food or to a sick person all i can do is give you medicine that will make you well or to a poor child all i can do is buy the toy you most want for your birthday you know prayer unlocks the doors of heaven and releases the power of god james chapter 4 and verse 2 says you have not because you ask not and jesus said all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer believing you shall receive matthew 21 and verse 22 says many of us want to do a work for god but few of us want to spend hours in prayer to god it goes against our natural thoughts to pray which is shorter why prayer counts so much with god it is unnatural it is in fact supernatural and it is always god's attention i am sometimes amused when people tell me god answered my prayer what they mean is god gave them what they asked for but if he had not give granted or given their request he would still have answered their prayers we forget that no and wait are also answers as the same as yes i have answered every request made by my children to me the answer not always been what they wanted but it is always been in accordance with what i have thought was the best for them at the time god is the same way expect that he answers are always right and good and best while ours may or may not be have been and remember whether prayer changes our situations or not one thing is certain prayer will change us amen